Hello dear students and welcome to this new lesson in the series of English lessons on the Anwar Satellite TV channel. أهلا وسهلا ومرحبا أعزائي الطلاب في هذا الدرس الجديد من سلسلة دروس اللغة الإنجليزية على قناتكم قناة الأنور والفضائية. Welcome back. Dear students, in English we have prefixes and suffixes. في اللغة الإنجليزية يوجد لدينا مجموعة من الأحرف تضاف إلى بداية بعض الكلمات لتغير معناها أو لتضيف معنى جديدا إليها ويوجد أحبائي مجموعة أخرى من الأحرف تضاف إلى نهاية الكلمات لتضيف معنى جديدا إليها أو تغير معناها وتسمى suffixes In today's lesson we are going to concentrate on the prefixes so, our lesson today is going to be about prefixes. درسنا لهذا اليوم إن شاء الله سيكون حول prefixes. In this lesson, we are going to learn about the prefix, what is a prefix, how can we use a prefix, and we are going to learn some prefixes in this lesson. Let's move to our first slide here. Read and notice. اقرأ ولاحظ. Let's read this paragraph together. People dislike living in unclean places. People dislike living in unclean places as it's unhealthy and uncommon to be there. Some people may disagree that we cause pollution and some may still unsure about that. Dear students, let's read this paragraph for one more time. لنقرأ هذه الفقرة للمرة الثانية. People dislike living in unclean places as it's unhealthy and uncommon to be there. Some people may disagree that we cause pollution and some may still unsure about that. Look. Here we have dislike Dislike, disagree, disagree, unclean, unclean, uncommon, uncommon, unsure, unsure, and finally unhealthy. What do you see here in these words? ماذا تلاحظ عزيز الطالب في هذه الكلمات؟ لننظر إلى بادئة كل الكلمة. In the first word, we have dislike. The root of this word is like. أصل هذه الكلمة هو كلمة like. انظر عزيزي الطالب إلى مجموعة الأحرف التي سبقت كلمة like. Like, dislike. Common, uncommon. Agree, disagree. Sure, unsure. Clean, unclean, and finally, healthy, unhealthy. Here, dear student, we have noticed that we add this and un to these words. Here, this and un are called prefixes. مجموعة الأحرف this ومجموعة الأحرف un تسمى prefixes. Let's move to know what is a prefix. Here, what is a prefix? Prefixes are groups of letters. Prefixes are groups of letters added to the beginnings of words. Again, prefixes are groups of letters added to the beginnings of some words. Then, prefix هي مجموعة من الأحرف تضاف إلى بداية بعض الكلمات لتغير معناها أو لتضيف معنى جديدا إليها. مرة أخرى. Prefixes هي مجموعة من الأحرف تضاف إلى بداية الكلمات لتغير معناها أو لتضيف معنى جديدا إليها كما لاحظنا عزيزي الطالب في الأمثلة السابقة Like, Dislike, Clean, Unclean, etc. Okay, here dear student look at the prefix Bree Bree in English means before 
بري means before قبل since it's before so we can use it at the beginning of words all right here let's have more illustration about prefixes ما هي the prefixes prefixes هي مجموعة من الأحرف تضاف إلى بداية الكلمات إذا مجموعة من الأحرف تضاف إلى بداية الكلمات تسمى prefixes let's have some examples over the prefixes the first example Un, the prefix un. Let's look at the example here. Unhealthy. So the origin or the root of this word, أصل هذه الكلمة هو كلمة healthy, صحي. We added the prefix un to the word. أضفنا البادية un في بداية الكلمة لتغير معناها إلى العكس. Healthy, صحي. Unhealthy, غير صحي. لننظر إلى prefix آخر. This. This like in disagree. أجري يوافق but disagree يعارض أو لا يوافق أصل هذه الكلمة هو كلمة أجري أضفنا لها البادئة this لننظر إلى بادئة أخرى im like in the word impolite impolite the root of this word is polite أصل هذه الكلمة هو كلمة polite مؤدب أضفنا لها البادئة im أصبحت impolite so dear students to rephrase what we have said, prefixes are groups of letters added to the beginning of some words to change its meaning. مرة أخرى, البوادئ أو مجموعة الأحرف التي تضاف في بداية الكلمات لتغير معناها تسمى prefixes. Alright, why do we use prefixes? Why do we use prefixes? Let's look here. Prefixes are used to change meanings or to make new words. Again, prefixes are used to change meanings or to make new words. تستخدم مجموعة الأحرف أو مجموعات الأحرف في بداية بعض الكلمات لتغير معنى بعض الكلمات أو لتضيف معنى جديدا إليها. Let's look here. لماذا نستخدم the prefixes? تستخدم prefixes في بداية بعض الكلمات لتغيير معناها أو لإعطاء معنى جديد. Alright, let's have this example. Un and this, the prefix un and the prefix this are used to give opposite meanings. Again, the prefix un and the prefix this are used to give opposite meanings. نستخدم prefix un and this لإعطاء معنى معاكس لإعطاء معنى معاكس Let's have some examples of this Here the word healthy Healthy means صحي Let's look at the opposite of the word healthy Healthy unhealthy صحي أصبحت العكس غير صحي بإضافة أو باستخدام the prefix un. Here, happy, happy, Said. The opposite of this word is unhappy, unhappy. استخدمنا البادية un لتغيير معنى الكلمة إلى العكس. Happy, unhappy. Let's look here. Like, like يحب أو يرغب. The opposite of this word is dislike, like. Dislike. Now, dear students, still we have more about the prefixes, but after this short break. Please be with us and don't go away. Fasil Qasir, one out. Welcome back. Now, dear students, Let's practice the use of some prefixes. Here, look at the first exercise. Use un or this to make opposites. استخدم un أو this لإعطاء عكس هذه الكلمات. Let's start with the first word. Healthy. Healthy means صحي. The opposite of this word is unhealthy. Unhealthy. We use the prefix un. 
What about usual? Usual, unusual. Usual معتاد, unusual, غير اعتيادي أو غير معتاد. Also, we use the prefix un. Agree, disagree. Agree, يوافق. Disagree, يعارض. Here we have happy, happy, unhappy. Happy, unhappy. Sure, unsure. Sure, unsure. Sure, متأكد, متيقن. Unsure, غير متأكد أو غير متيقن. Let's read them again. Healthy, unhealthy. Usual, unusual. Agree, disagree. Happy, unhappy. And finally, sure, unsure. What have you noticed here, dear student? ما الذي لاحظته عزيز الطالب في هذه المفردات؟ لاحظنا أننا استخدمنا البوادئ أو استخدمنا مجموعة الأحرف في بداية بعض الكلمات لإعطاء عكس هذه الكلمات. Here unhealthy, unusual, disagree, unhappy and unsure. Let's have more words to practice using un and des. Use un and des to make opposites. Like. What's the opposite of the word like? Who can tell me? Excellent, thank you very much. Like, dislike. Like, dislike. What about tidy? Tidy, murattab. The opposite of tidy is untidy. Very good. Tidy, untidy. Come on. Come on means shaya. What's the opposite of this word? Who can tell me? Thank you very much. Come on. Uncommon. And finally, non. Non, ma'roof or mashhur. The opposite of this word is unknown. Thank you very much, dear students, for answering this exercise. Now, dear all, let's move to another exercise, which is complete the sentences. Use the opposite of the underlined words. أكمل الجمل التالية مستخدما عكس الكلمات التي تحتها خط. Number one, the water in the River Jordan was once clean, but pollution made it. Again, the water in the River Jordan was once clean, but pollution made it. Space. Here we have the target word clean. The underlined word is clean. Now, dear student, try to use the opposite of the underlined word in this space. Who can answer this? Thank you very much. Here, unclean. Let's read the sentence for the last time. The water in the River Jordan was once clean, but pollution made it unclean. مياه نهر الأردن كانت نظيفة لكن التلوث جعلها غير نظيفة. So the opposite of clean is unclean. What have we done here? ما الذي فعلنا في هذه الكلمة؟ أضفنا مجموعة الأحرف أن إلى بداية الكلمة كلين لتعطي عكس هذه الكلمة. Let's move to the second one. It is known, it is known today that pollution causes global warming. من المعروف اليوم أن التلوث يسبب الاحتباس الحراري. But this was 30 years ago. Here, the underlined word is non. We need to use the opposite of this word by using un or this. What can we add here? What prefix can we use? ما البادئة التي يمكن أن نستخدمها? Un or this? Marvelous. Thank you very much. Here, dear student, your answer is completely correct. Unknown. Let's read the sentence for the last time. لنقرأ الجملة مرة أخيرة. It is known today that pollution causes global warming. But this was unknown 30 years ago. Let's move to the third one. I like tea. أنا أحب الشاي. But I, coffee. The underlined word here is like. الكلمة التي تحتها خط هنا هي كلمة like. Use a prefix to get the opposite of this word. استخدم مجموعة من الأحرف إما un or this لإعطاء عكس هذه الكلمة. What can we use here? Un or this? Thank you very much. 
here dislike so i like tea but i dislike coffee انا افضل او احب الشاي لكن لا احب القهوه short break dear students and we continue our lesson about prefixes don't leave us and be with us Welcome back. Now, dear students, let's complete our sentences using this or an. Number four, Rania was feeling very well. Again, Rania was feeling very well yesterday. But today she is... Here the underlined word is well. We need to use the opposite of this word by using an or this. Aziz al-Talib, sanastakhdim. An or this... لإعطاء عكس هذه الكلمة التي تحتها خط. Here the answer is unwell. Thank you very much. Let's read it for the last time. Rania was feeling very well yesterday, but today she is unwell. So the opposite of well is unwell. Here, dear students, we have used the prefix un to get the opposite of the word well. Let's move to number five. I agree with you, but I with Ali. Here the underlined word is agree. The same thing, we need to use even un or this to get the opposite of this word. سنستخدم البادية un or this لإعطاء عكس هذه الكلمة. I agree with you, but I... Excellent, I disagree with Ali. So the opposite of agree is disagree. Now the last one, number six, what Ali says is, but what you say is true. Here the underlined word is true. الكلمة التي تحتها خط هي كلمة true, صحيح. We need to use un or this to get the opposite of this word. سنستخدم مجموعة الأحرف un أو مجموعة الأحرف this لإعطاء عكس هذه الكلمة. What Ali says is untrue, but what you say is true. So, dear all, the opposite of the word true is untrue, and we get this opposite by adding the prefix un. استخدمنا هذا العكس باستخدام مجموعة الأحرف un في بداية هذه الكلمة. All right. Now here we have another exercise. دينا تمرين آخر. Correct the underlined words. صحح الكلمات التي تحتها خط صحح الكلمات التي تحتها خط Number one I unagree with what you have said Again I unagree with what you have said Dear students This underlined word is thought to be incorrect هذه الكلمة التي تحتها خط يمكن أن تكون خاطئة صحح هذه الكلمة باستخدام البادئة التي تراها مناسبة. Here, I unagree with what you have said. This word is incorrect, but the correct word is disagree. So the sentence should be, I disagree with what you have said. Because the word agree is to be used with the prefix this to be disagree. مجموعة الأحرف التي تستخدم مع كلمة agree هي this وليست un. All right. Number two. It's this healthy. It's this healthy to live near factories. It's this healthy to live near factories. This word is incorrect. But what is the correct word? Excellent. Thank you very much. Here, it's unhealthy. So the word healthy is to be used with the prefix un, not with the prefix this. So, this healthy is completely incorrect, but the correct word is the word unhealthy by using the prefix un. The last one, number three. Lions are very uncommon here in Gaza. Lions are very uncommon here in Gaza. The word uncommon, is it correct or incorrect? 
to be used with the prefix un. هل صحيح أن نستخدم الكلمة common مع البادئة un to be uncommon? Thank you very much. This word is completely true and correct. هذه الكلمة صحيحة لأن الكلمة common يجب أن تستخدم معها البادئة un. So dear students, here common, uncommon. The sentence is completely correct. Dear all, here we have come to the last exercise in today's lesson, which is prefixes. But before we move to the last one, which is your homework, we need to sum up all what we have talked about in this lesson. In this lesson, we talked about prefixes. في هذا الدرس تحدثنا عن مجموعة الأحرف التي تأتي في بداية الكلمات لتغير معناها أو لتضيف معنى جديدا إلى هذه الكلمات وهذا يسمى prefixes. تحدثنا أيضا عن استخدامات prefixes. We said that prefixes are used to change meanings or to give new meanings to some words. Also, we have seen the prefix un and the prefix this in this lesson. Now, dear all, let's move to your last exercise, which is the homework. لننتقل إلى المهارة الختامية وهي الواجب البيتي. Check your book or dictionary for more prefixes. Check your book or dictionary for more prefixes. Dear all, thank you very much for watching us in today's lesson, Prefixes. I hope the lesson was beneficial for you and interesting at the same time. Until I see you next time, have a good day and goodbye.